Hello, hello. It is uh, February 2022. I am enjoying a rare day off. <laughs> My work has been crazy uh, getting through the Super Bowl and the Olympics. The Olympics finally ended last night. Thank you. Um, really crazy time to be working in advertising, as I do. But I uh, got through it. So now I am enjoying a couple of days off, which I have not had in a very long time. So um, I did want to... I wanted to make a new YouTube video today, and I just thought about like, well, could probably just go out, you know, to one of the usual spots here and, you know, go get some footage with some bald eagles or maybe go do big horns or, you know, some of the stuff that I typically like to do. But then I thought about it, I was like, well, you know, I've got so many, I've got a ton of like footage from like over the past like year, year and a half that I was looking back at the other day. And the idea was always to shoot stuff in order to put on the YouTube channel. And what'll happen is I'll head out and I'll have, you know, this idea in my head about like what I want the vlog to be like or whatever. And sometimes you go out and it just doesn't end up being like that great of a day. <laughs> so you get a few good photos or you get a, you, know, you get some decent video footage, but it's, it's just not good enough to actually make a, a vlog or a standalone like video. So I kind of just, I'm like, well, yeah, I guess nothing, nothing to come out from that day. And I was looking at some of these little clips, and I was just like, man, maybe I should just put together like a, a B-roll sort of video and kind of talk about here at the beginning um, some of the ideas that I had had in the, over the past year that, that didn't really either make it to the channel or just, you know, didn't work out. And um, there's two major projects that I thought were going to be really cool that didn't, just didn't pan out that I kind of wanted to, uh, I guess, talk about real quick. Um, the first one was... For about a year and a half ago, um, there was uh, a black-footed ferret spotted out at the Rocky Mountain Arsenal. And I know to most people that may not seem like a big deal, but it actually is a very big deal. Um, it's one of the rarest animals to be seen in the wild. They, they think there's only about three to 500 total in all of North America. So the fact that there was one, you know, 25 minutes away... I was like, yeah, I want to, I want to, I want to see that ferret, and um, so I, I had this idea that I was like, well, maybe we can make like a little like um, episodic like feature about this. Like, so I was like, maybe it's gonna be like three or four episodes of like you know me going out to the arsenal trying to find this ferret because you know the arsenal is big. Um, so so where is it? Like you know I've got to first I got to go out there and try to figure out where it is, and then um, you know go at the right time and. Because ferrets are are mostly nocturnal when they're most active, so the, a good chance to actually see them is you know like most animals at you know dusk or dawn. So I was I was gonna you know go out to the arsenal, you know wake up at like four in the morning and try to get out there right at sunrise. And and the idea I had in my head was that I was gonna of, of, of course there was going to be failed attempts to go see it, but then I was hoping maybe one of these times when I go out there like I'm gonna have my camera pointed right at that burrow and all of a sudden he's gonna pop his head out and he's gonna be like oh my god there he is you know and that was gonna be like you know the payoff um at least that's how i envisioned it in my head um and so all of that happened except the payoff <laughs> i went out there i can't count how many days i woke up like four in the morning and drove out there and uh was looking for that ferret and um, now a year and a half later, I, st I still to this day, I have, I haven't seen a ferret, um, out there. So that was the chasing the black footed ferret series that never happened, even though I put in tons of effort and work, uh, to try to make that happen, but it just, just didn't happen. I'm um, then the second sort of big project that I was going to do last year, um, that didn't pan out, um, was I really wanted to, um, last summer and early fall really wanted to document the elk rut up in Rocky Mountain National Park. Um, and that, again, just a bunch of unforeseen circumstances <laughs> came into play. Um, so I went up there, and, you know, my parents have a cabin up in Granby. Um, and so I went and stayed with them for, like, a long weekend. And we went to the park, you know, to go see um, the rut. And uh, tons of elk out, and you just hear them bugling, and it's just... It's so incredible, and uh, I had taken my 
big fancy shotgun microphone with me. And I really wanted to focus on getting that audio of the elk like, you know, bugling. An embarrassing, <laughs> an embarrassing uh, <laughs> imitation right there. And um, you know who else likes to see the elk rut in Colorado? Everybody who lives in Colorado. In fact, I think everyone who lives in the United States of America is in that park uh, during the elk rut. It is so crowded. And so the problem I was having was that I... We would set up and, and we would pull off the side of the road and there's a bunch of elk and, you know, they're bugling and uh, I would get everything set up, get the microphone plugged in, start to record, but there's hundreds of people there and, and everyone's talking and, and you can't, there's no way to go there and record like what I was looking for in dead silence. It's, it's impossible. So I was like, oh man, this is a bummer. So my dad and I were like, well, we got to... We know some little hiking trails where you can get sort of away from the crowds. I was like, ah, we'll do that. So we <laughs> started hiking down this little gravel road that leads right out into these meadows. And, uh, of course, no elk out there. You can still hear the bugling, though. Um, it kind of echoes through these little valleys out there. Again, it's it's so incredible. Um, and so I was like, well, I, we can't see them, but I've got my microphone I can at least record the audio because that's that's what I wanted. And so we set up and uh, right as they started bugling, all of a sudden all these people started coming walking down the trail. I'm like, how did you find us? How did you get here? And instead of bugling, all you hear is people's feet crunching on the rocks as they walk by. And that's just so frustrating. And then uh, so we're like, well, maybe we'll get up early the next morning because there probably won't be as many people here like early. You know, so, um, so the next day we got, we got up early and got into the park, like right at sunrise and, uh, the elk were out and it was incredible. And, um, again, we found this little pull off where there, there was a, a buck and like all these does and he was running around chasing them and he was bugling and, and I'm like, oh, this is perfect. And there's nobody around. And so I get the tripod out, get the microphone all plugged back in and, uh, as soon as I started recording this, this is the last clip in this video. As soon as I started recording this big diesel F-350 rig just, just pulling right through the shot. And I'm just like, oh, no, it's impossible. And then he drives off and then this lady gets out and she's just blah, 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 blah. I was like, oh my God, look at her. Ooh, well, he doesn't like that. Now look at him. He's chasing her. And I'm just like, God, I don't need the play-by-play -play lady. I'm seeing this. Like, and of course, I didn't say anything because I'm not rude. But every ounce of me was just like, shut up. Please, I'm begging you to just not talk for 30 seconds. <sighs> So the elk rut didn't really, <laughs> didn't really pan out um, as far as the project that I was hoping to do. And again, you know, I had this picture in my head of like going out there early one morning and it's brisk and the elk is like bugling and all the steam is coming out of its mouth. Like, you know, the dream shot. And uh, yeah, that did not happen. Um, so I am going to try again. <laughs> I'm going to try again this year, foolishly, but, um, so anyway, so yeah, so those are two big sort of projects that I was working on that, that didn't pan out and, uh, of course never showed up on the channel. So, um, but this is just some B-roll footage of just other stuff that never really, I thought was either good enough to be in a standalone vlog or just, you know, was part of something else that didn't really pan out. So, um, anyways, hope you enjoy the footage and, you know, it was fun kind of telling a couple of stories about, you know, things that I've been trying to do and, and failed at. And, um, you know, it's the way it goes. Um, I think that's I think that's a comparison I would make between storm chasing and wildlife photography. Is that they're very similar. I think I don't think a lot of people realize how similar they are in that um, it's very boom or bust for both. And when you when you have a great day, you feel on top of the world. And when you have a bad day, you feel like you're going to quit. <laughs> so um, anyways, uh, hope you enjoy. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to get some more new stuff up here soon. So thanks for watching.
I think I've made it pretty clear how I feel about photographing bison, but this is pretty good. A couple of bison, the mountains there, crystal clear blue skies today. Um, yeah, this is a good shot. Dang it.
Thank <laughs> you.